Hey, K drama fans. Anyang haseyo, chonin, rakti li, emida, hangul mal, chogom yo. What? I did it! All right, guys, let's kick off our video. Choosing a favorite among so many gems is tough. It's like picking a top ice cream flavor, right? Well, I've done the hard work and curated a list that really hits home. These dramas have each touched my heart uniquely, but as I keep watching, this list is destined to evolve because that's the thrill of K-dramas. There's always a new discovery that could shake up your world. So I hope you're ready to dive in. I am your host, Rock D. Lee from the channel, your boy Rock Lee, where we do anime reactions, live actions, and K-drama reactions. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And I beg you to check out the reaction channel. Let's jump into this top 10 list now. Kicking off our list, the first K-drama I ever experienced coming in at number 10, we have Squid Games. And do we even need words for how amazing Squid Game is? I mean, there is a reason why it reached number one on Netflix in 94 countries and had a draw of over 111 million member households worldwide within just 17 days of its availability. Honestly, this was the very first K-drama that I ever watched and it was a new experience for me. The show is so giving from the writing to the plot, great acting delivery by the biggest names in the South Korean entertainment industry, to the social relevancy of the themes that they smoothly incorporated into the story. The series is a high stakes survival thriller that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. It explores themes of desperation, greed, and the moral choices people make under extreme circumstances. And with this much success, everyone's just waiting for the second season. The pressure is definitely on for the director, who apparently didn't have a concrete plan for how the next season would go initially. But when it finally comes, we're just hoping that it exceeds our expectations. Gripping our ninth spot, we have All of Us Are Dead. Zombie movies and shows are under the horror category, but recently it seems that it's turning into its own genre. We have seen different types of origin stories and unique takes on zombies. And one of them is All of Us Is Dead. It's a K-drama set in a high school where the outbreak actually occurs. It traps students and teachers inside the school building. The series follows the students' struggle for survival and their attempts to escape. What's exciting about the show is the new faces of young actors and actresses who gained attention through this Netflix series and the endless possibilities for the storyline. The ending was open and we can expect more on how they will expand on the ideas of hambies or half bees that are the special form of zombie human hybrids that have enhanced strength, sight and agility of normal zombies while retaining human intelligence. Whew! We are coming in at the eighth spot guys and this one is toxic. It's so toxic, but I love it. We have extracurricular. Every country has its own flaws that are part of its society and we have a choice if we're going to succumb to it or change it. South Korea's educational system has always been observed and critiqued because of its flaws, and the entertainment industry felt like it was their responsibility to inform the public and do something about it. Extracurricular is one of those shows that would awaken your thoughts about societal issues, and it challenges viewers to consider the choices made by the characters and the consequences of those choices. The series doesn't shy away from portraying the harsh realities for the life of its characters. Coming in at number seven, we have Extraordinary Attorney Wu. This is one of those K-drama acting masterpieces, guys. We all know how hard it is for actors to act as someone on the spectrum. But Park Yi Bin as Attorney Wu Young Wu has done it so beautifully that she even won the grand prize for television at the 59th Bay Song Arts Awards. Everything paid off, especially for the show's director, Yu In Sheik, as he waited for one year just to cast her. But acting is not just the good thing about Extraordinary Attorney Wu. They were also there for their representation and to inform not just about autism, but about the law as well. In fact, some of the cases that were shown in a few episodes were real and from published lawyer essays like the lottery case in episode 11. It gave birth to some memes like the inside joke about Samantha and Rachel and <laughs> you know, you know. Aside from that, the actors and actresses served as amazing visuals and top-notch chemistry that K-drama audiences crave for. And here we are, the main leads 
on yo soup and kim su jung okay <laughs> playing as kang to mu and shin ha ri respectively were on point with their enemies to lovers storyline but the second leads didn't disappoint as well kim min q and sol in na definitely stole much of the spotlight with their storyline and even gave birth to the legendary kissing scene like i'm here i started following uh uncanny encounter because of uh kim su jung's performance i know that she was a former singer she just released an album top or cliff uh fan freaking tastic she's multi-talented she can act she can sing she can model she has a beautiful smile wonderful personality and that really 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 just wrote me into the world of the korean culture i want to thank you guys and i want to thank you to the stunning young actress back to the script back to the script back to the video back to the video coming in at number five we have flower of evil this is a south korean television series that aired in 2020 and it garnered significant attention and acclaim for its suspenseful storyline and strong performances it is a psychological crime thriller that centers around baek hee sung played by lee jung gi a seemingly perfect husband and father and his wife cha ji won played by moon shi won who is a detective. He Sung's dark past and hidden secrets are slowly unveiled as G1, G I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, <laughs> becomes suspicious of her husband. The drama explores themes of identity, trust, and the blurred lines between good and evil. Its intricate plot keeps viewers on the edge of their seats throughout the series. And one interesting thing to expect about this drama is the unconventional romance of the main couple. It's exciting. It's like nothing you will ever see. It keeps you on the edge of the seat. God, like I know I just said that they're not like a regular couple, but like they're really not like a regular couple. And it is so refreshing, so beautiful, leaves you at the edge of your seat and you just don't know what to do. Anyways, coming in at number four, we have The Glory. In K-drama land, you can never miss out on Mokjang which is a Korean slang term for exaggerated and mainly unrealistic bits of K-drama. The word means to reach a limit or to take too far. If you've heard of Sky Castle or Penthouse, you will be for a wild ride for extreme tropes. In the past, mock jangs were hard to come by, but recently we've had a lot to choose from, from the 2023 Beek Sung Arts Awards Best Drama, The Glory. It's a story about Moon Dong Un, a bullied high school student in the past who is getting revenge on the people who destroyed her life, including the bystanders. One thing to love about this drama is its star-studded cast. No words needed for the Song Yi Q, who won Best Actress with this series, by the way, and of course the villains that made the story thrilling, deeply unsettling, Lim Ji Yin, Park Sung Un, Kim Hyora and Yim Hee Ran, who played as Dong Woon's bullies. Man, I'm so sorry, guys. It's, it's to the point where I'm like, should I even say the names? Should I say them? But I'm really trying and I want to give respect to these actors. So their names should be said and I need to do the best. I need to do the very best in pronunciating them. Okay, and now we have to add that the show revealed the brutal reality of bullying and how it can affect a single person's life. Apparently, it is a relevant topic in South Korea, and some celebrities and idols are accused of doing this, and some were even found guilty of bullying. You can say this drama really served its purpose during its run. Right now, third on the list, we have moving. K-dramas with fantasy stories are in these days. And one of the most highly recommended shows to watch in this genre is Moving. It gave a fresh take on superpowered people and is probably the strongest when it comes to characterization. Aside from the exciting fantasy, adventure, and mystery tropes, it also focused on relationships, especially between families, which surely tugged at the heart of viewers. Now, one thing I look forward to in K-dramas is an amazing villain 
And when you watch the moving, you could agree that most of the antagonists are played by amazing actors or actresses. And for the most part, you can sympathize and or even root for some of these villains. Now, if I could be real with you guys, the thing that I really, really found exciting was the creative use on superpowers. Well, I can't put it in words without spoiling guys, but some people just show super strength and that's it. Moving shows the art of super strength. Like if someone is super strong and they throw someone on the ground, they bounce them as if they're playing basketball and the LeBron James going for the free throw. Moving does a fantastic take on super powered individuals. It's something that I think the superhero genre in general should learn from. And I hope that it's the beginning of a new push, a new refreshing take on super powered, super powered individuals and superhero movies. All right, guys, coming in at number two. Oh my gosh, it's coming in close. And guys, I'm gonna be honest, we can mix one and two and it, 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 it could change from any given week. Number two is it's okay not to be okay. This story revolves around Moon Gung Tae, a psychiatric ward caregiver, and Ko Moon Young, a successful children's book author with antisocial personality disorder. Their paths cross when Mu Young returns to her hometown and they become involved in each other's lives. The show is wildly praised for its sensitive and realistic portrayal of mental health issues. It highlights the importance of seeking help, understanding one's trauma, and the power of human connection in the process of healing. Okay guys, and now we have the juggernaut. My number one pick, it's Itawan Class. You can say it's the classic underdog revenge story starring an A-list Korean actor, Park Soo Joon, playing as Park Seo Yi, and his name is unusual for his character in the show. Seo Yi is a young man who sets out to take revenge against a powerful conglomerate and its CEO, Jang Dae Yi, who caused the death of his father. After a conflict with Jang Di Yi's son leads to his imprisonment, Sao Yi is determined to achieve success by opening a small independent pub called Don Bam in the vibrant Itaewon district of Seoul. One of the best things about the show is the character-driven storyline. All throughout the series, the viewers witness how each of the characters grew and sometimes into someone they wouldn't even expect. She may be hard to like by some, and you might think that her existence is only to be pretty and liked by the main character. And as the story progresses, if you're anything like me, you are going to be going back and forth over Suwa. She's extremely beautiful. She is stuck in a very dif difficult position. She's going back and forth with a very charismatic lead actress as well. And you just don't know who to root for at many times in the franchise, but again, I don't want to spoil too much for you if you haven't seen it, but I definitely want to recommend Eat to One Class. And as you can see, it's at the top of my list. And guys, I want to be honest with you. I am new to the world of K-drama. This list will continue to change as I watch new K-dramas like the one I'm watching right now, Strong Woman, Dong Soon, and I have Crash Landing on You coming up next. If you enjoy watching reactions, consider watching the Your Boy Rock Lee channel where I cover K-drama reactions with the group and we have anime reactions and Western live action reactions there as well. I'll appreciate a thumbs up and you subscribe to this channel. And again, I want to see your recommendations given this list of what you think I would like next in the K-drama world. I'm your host, Rock T. Lee, out.